by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Kras Holgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastel. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. You swore an oath to protect Bastila when you signed up with this mission, just like everyone else in the crew. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know she may not have an official rank in the fleet, but she's the one in charge of this mission, and it's our duty to protect her. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastille is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. 
Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Locked. I don't have the codes to open it. Switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skill to slice into the access panel and open the door. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Thank <laughs> you. 
accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. to the escape pods. Go! Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith.
You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. And we're the last two crew members left in the end of the square. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Come on, there'll be time for questions later. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? We've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. Seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in other spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. It's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important, but if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila will have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance of battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. 
I'm guessing she barely got out alive. And now she's trapped here, just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Good. We're going to need to work together if we're going to survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. But that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by sued by gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is, well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pack, I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. But they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basilisk Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role, he took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. How can you say that? The Sith are butchers. The soldiers, the civilians, I mean, they don't care who they kill, even, even children. Right now the Republic is the only thing keeping Malak's brutal fist from crushing the entire galaxy. And it won't be long until even the Republic falls to the Sith fleet. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier. Let's move out. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit, deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens! They're Republic fugitives! Attack! <laughs> Gang, but Mama Rurira. 
kuya mi jus kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun, slimo padona. Rundi hadonga chihon kabi. La boda ni winky smack toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tok ning cha muli ra ra bes. Cha wana bota ayua tahonga cha kanki dora. Kachi kuita hodonga. Topa da bong walia gando do na no chut chut. Muksha pa pong pa bola wana chitne. Ba muli slemo po da wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Uba batu gonchi. Tong nong bong chong nung yang. Tong katog smack delia. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. Nita poe tikito. Tolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundoga. Yu malita kuto tun. Chilamulane ni du bobo. Onga kumbis jang ba mulira. Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Yami juz chikata na patoga ya fulki gokogala jiji. Gawana bot atagwa. Kagidora te kun watate mona ia bola. Runda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba monotek. Tok ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Chikun ita hodonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo po donar de hodonga kunga be. Tong abog sha ubinang, wanga kumbis king balemuraya. Chuni yon tun chichi ita duana, kapabol pa muji kumana. Chuta, unga kunbis tulpi kikuyana, tong patugas makdilia.
Kukumo no ba mulira ta kung justa runde. Ta dis ju pongko kuki magpaka. Ching palachiska mule tunarana nu prata tungko si cha tuma wamama tus kebo toma. Ni sha ju lorcha kingku no mulira jikon. Chan shak bulara umrao chiska duchi. Chubanjishka Yanki, Titoke Gratun, Kun Chichakun, King Kachachonobra, Bogra Wala no Tumbacha, Nechi Chuna Chubaching, Lorda Itakun. 
Oui, tam boragatong. Muli ra siyang turong ni na potata tuwanga chuntise. Igrutu haga jijiwa. Wata juma wana hu wama hulhu natek. Chi gratu loda bograshi oni un kompa chintumbo mochuba. Loda ni ta kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tong. Bagra shark on tijak um. Chubakaha chop mucha shark pakat. Ki no no da. A chut. Chuta. 